The main tab of the shader controls the most basic functions of the shader. So color and alpha will control the color and alpha. And you're not going to see a smooth fade like that unless you're using the transparent version of the shader. Let me just set that back to white. The main texture is just the main texture of your material. I'm going to pick this rainbow one. And then if I hit this little triangle, it'll drop down more settings for that texture. So tiling is just how tiled that texture is. So if I set it to five, you're going to see five of the rainbows along the Y axis. Panning is the same as offset, which just offsets the texture, but it does it continuously. So if I set this to five, you'll see it just smoothly uh, panning across the surface at a, at a rate of five. And if I set it to 10, it's going to go faster. Now, as you increase the speed, you may notice that there's these little lines that show up, like little bands of colors. That's an issue that happens when the project has been open for a long time. So I think in my case, I've had Unity open for 48 hours or something like that. So this is not something you'll see in game. And if you are annoyed by this, just restart your Unity. UV lets you just select the different UVs on your model. So in this case, this model has two UVs and the second one looks like this. A lot of models are just gonna have one UV, but if you have custom UVs that you've made for your model, know that there is a selection under each each texture. And if a texture does not have that, just let me know and I can add it. Saturation is just how saturated your texture is. So if you set that to negative one, it's gonna be completely desaturated. And if you set it to one, it's gonna be very saturated. The vertex color just uses the colors that are embedded in your vertices for your model. Um, this model does not have vertex colors, so I can't really show it to you. Basic emission just makes it emit light. So the surface color of your, or just your main texture color is going to get bright in this case. Uh, there's more emission options below, but this is just for the most basic of use cases. And you're not going to see it actually glow around your model unless there is bloom in the world. So in this case, I'm using the default Unity scene. There's no bloom, so you're not going to see that glow. Hue shift just shifts the hue. Because this, is a, because this is a rainbow, it sort of just looks like it's panning. So let me just change that to any other one. So let's pick this blue one. And as I hue shift it, you see the hue shifts. The normal map controls basically the direction of the surface. So when light hits the surface, it checks the direction to see how bright it should be. Now if I put a normal map on it, I have it panning. Um, so if I tile it by five, so there's, it's more obvious, you can see that the light basically thinks this is the shape of a cushion. And if I change the intensity, you can sort of adjust how much it curves the surface. So at zero, it's not going to curve it at all. And as you increase it, it becomes really intense. By default, that's at one. The alpha mask is the same as the alpha under color and alpha. It just lets you use a texture. So let me just get a noise texture. And you'll see wherever is dark on the texture is going to sort of fade out. If it's black, it's going to be completely transparent. And if it's white, it's going to be completely opaque. Uh, this is useful if you just have specific parts of the model you don't want to show. And that covers the main tab. If you have any questions about this or any other part of the shader, feel free to join the Discord. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.